So I recently picked up about 10 to 15 pairs of shoes over the past couple weeks. We have been busy. I haven't even had time to go through all my sneakers and enjoy unboxing them yet. And I always like showing her what I picked up as well. So I feel like it's might as well easy if we just get it all done in the same video doing it right now. And then if people got questions, we can make separate videos or I can make separate videos or anything like that. So I'll have you do a rating system based off of the colorway, how you feel about it one to 10. And then if it's actually a copper drop for yourself, it was something that you would like for your collection. So okay. first pick up, let's go with that one right there. Air Jordan 4 SB. Uh, I ended up getting these late, got them from Hearth. I made a TikTok or uh, Instagram reel or something like that about it. What, what do you think about them? Um, I really like these. You know, my favorite color is green, so, yes. and I'm a very neutral person, so I really, I really like these. I would wear these for sure. Um, what were the other questions? I think that's that's pretty solid. I think okay. we got we got like a few shoes to go through, so I don't think we need to elaborate too much on everything. But overall, as you see, I copped all these shoes because either, you know, some nostalgia, memories, whatever it may be, there's a reason why I got the shoe, right? So shoe's I like large, them. large shoe. Oh, it's my size 13. I know. <laughs> um, but like look at it compared to my face. <laughs> Let's take it to the next one. I know we got a lot to go through. Okay. Um, should we hit the 300K one or should we do something else? Let's do the 300K one. All right, let's do the 300K. So, <laughs> Nike by you. You want me to open it or you want to open it? I want you to open it. Okay. I already so, have cut on my finger. <laughs> Nike by you. Um, I made some dunks this time. Normally I do Air Force Ones. You've seen all the other ones. Yeah, I've seen the Air Force so Ones. So, we hit milestones on the channel. Uh, this time it's 300,000. So, shout out to everybody for subscribing. We hit 300,000 subscribers uh, a week ago or something like that. So, I always make a, a shoe to like have a timestamp for that time. And this time we actually went with a dunk. So what do you think about these? These are icy. <laughs> I think these are better than the Air Force ones, but I'm partial to dunk. So I don't know if okay. that really matters. Love the gum bottom. Um, the materials on these are really nice actually. Way better. They're way better than the GR versions. That's crazy. Nike ID is going crazy. Shout out to Nike ID team. You guys are doing a great job with these. I need I need a pair. So we gotta find you a pair now. Yeah. It was like an exclusive drop and I had got the access literally right around the same time knowing that they were gonna come around hitting 300K. Mm -hmm. So show them the backside too. Can you guys see that? We got 300K on the backside. So that's a nice hit on the sneaker. I just went subtle. I did like a black toe vibe with a gum bottom instead. That way it's not the exact same color blocking. I feel like you could wear this like often, you know what yeah. I mean? Like you just throw it on. Yeah. It doesn't look like too YouTube-y, if that makes sense. I right. feel like the Air Forces, sometimes they look like really YouTube, <laughs> like that's a YouTube shoe, yeah. you know? But yeah, I like these a lot. So one day when we get, when we hit a million subscribers, I'm gonna do like, so each, for those that don't know, the colorways are YouTube colors, red, black, and white, which is also yeah. bulls. So I do different colors, iterations for 100K, 200K, 300K. And then I'm gonna do it all the way up to a million. And when I do the million one, we're gonna do like a gold custom one. Like it'll be something special. So That's cool. in time, we'll be able to watch back this video and see it. So tell everybody to get, get us to a million subscribers Come already. Come on, man. <laughs> no, but really, thank you guys for 300 for him. Cause I mean, he deserves it. He deserves all of it. We've been grinding, we've been grinding. Okay, so this is a retro box. This is like early 2000s vibes. I know, you, I know you don't know about, much about it, but it's definitely like this is how the box used to be back in the day. Yeah, I used to love it. Ooh. So when you see a box like this, it's a shoe that's like from the past or they're doing like, you know, celebration to a sneaker in the history. And this is an anniversary edition. Where did you get these? I got them from the Nike website. Oh, shoot. They were I sitting. saw them. They were literally I saw just them sitting. At, um, I saw them at Untied. At Untied. Yeah. I know, I almost got them from there, but they were sitting on the website, so I was like, I'll just grab them from here. Yeah, that makes but sense. But either way, West Indies, are you like these two? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they're my colors, and I and I like, you know, the Caribbean vibe, like, Yeah. you know. It's so it's so crazy because this is like a like Air Force One lover sneaker heads from back in the day, like glorified this sneaker. It comes out and it's just sitting on site for retail, it's like no no problems, no nothing. It's just easy cop. So. It's dope to be able to get this shoe now after all these years and add it to the collection. So I thought it was a great piece to add to the collection. Hey, I think this part is really cool. It's cool detail. You can't see in oh, there. On the, but on like, the insole. On the insole, yeah. it has like all the different, like, I don't know, different countries. They yeah, have it's, it's... the Bahamas, Jamaica, Barbados, yep. Haiti, all sorts of stuff inside of there. You guys can't see that, but it's pretty cool. This is a shoe that I think definitely deserves like a full review. But again, 
it's a sitting shoe that nobody cares about so it's like is it worth making a review i don't know let me know down below in the comment section when it comes to the west indy air force one you like these a lot well the material on it is really nice too yeah i was just looking at that i'm like that doesn't look like regular definitely a good air force one so i used to have back in the day i used to have i don't know a little bit around 100 pairs of air force ones in my collection like when i was in high school and stuff mm -hmm. and i kind of you know just started getting rid of stuff you know obviously when we made the investments on the house and doing the stuff and then you know over time they've been coming back with all these old air force ones so this next one is one that i you thought i would have? no i thought i would never get this shoe oh. or it was just like really hard to get yo 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 real quick before we get any farther into the video i had to let you guys know we just dropped some new merch and it's all available on the website shopdnashow.com also if you look at the bar just below the video right here you can see all the products available there and there's more stuff on the website i'm excited to see you guys rocking the new gear we have a bunch of new stuff coming as well the summertime is here so you know we got to make some shorts and some cool accessories so stay tuned for that they ain't Got them tees already sold out before I got a chance to make this video. So if you want to get anything, trust me, hop on it sooner than later because if it's gone, it's gone. So let's go ahead and keep this video rolling. And again, if you haven't already checked out the website, shopdnashow.com. I'm rubbing off on you, huh? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I am. So it's okay. The LeBron Four Horsemen Air Force One was this like crazy sought after shoe. Those and the Kobe Forces, different stuff like that uh, back in the day. And to see them retro it with these quality materials and and bringing it all back to me it was like a must cop i couldn't pass on it and then to see them just sitting like it blew my mind so let me know what you rate these and yeah, obviously it's a cop for you i could tell i would wear these okay for sure i think it's interesting like do, how they did the double swoosh mm -hmm. um that's a little different and yeah the materials again are just really nice um this feels different it looks different than mm -hmm. the other portions of the shoe um but yeah and it's a yeah. great green like this is this is like my favorite type of green that so. color is fire they did such a good job on this shoe so when i saw these sitting same thing i had to cop immediate cop i was just like bro i gotta get these so um yeah they've just been kind of sitting i haven't had time to talk about them but i think for sure this shoe in particular i gotta do a review like I know you don't know the magnitude of this sneaker. It feels like a fall shoe to me. I don't know yeah. why I'm like staring yeah. at it. I'm like, it feels like a fall shoe. Like, Definitely. Like, I don't know, like a cute sweatsuit, like oversized. Yep. Like, and throw I can that, see that on. I can see the fit. I don't yeah. know if they made these in your size. If they did, we'll look. We'll look and see. It's all oh, good. We'll look and see. Okay. So let's get away from the Air Force Ones for a sec, because I think I got a couple other Air Force One pickups. Here's another one. Uh, I just made a video, video about these. Oh no, here, I'll let you yeah, hold this one. Yeah, I just need one. So here's a box too. Um, White Cement 3s, I got these from Poison uh, website and yeah. I ended up, you know, just picking up another pair to double up on. Mm -hmm. I made the, I put these in the video with my dad, but I, I had already done a review and everything, but I ended up, this was my second pair. So yeah, I ended up grabbing another pair of these. What do you think about these? They're cool. They're, I mean, you, you said these are a classic, right? This is a classic. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you can't go wrong with the classic, right? This is this is a good shoe. Okay, what do you rate it out of 10? Because I feel like you're not as, like, hmm. happy about this one as the other Air Force one. I just feel like, I mean, A, all the other ones have green on them, so I'm going to okay. be partial, you know, okay. in that way. Okay. And then, B, like, this is a shoe. How many how many times has this been released? Man, too a many lot, times. A lot, right? Yeah. So, like, to me, I'm like, it's just, you know. Regular. Just another job. It's just regular. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I but got you. they're cool. So would you... I mean, I know would you, I wear them? you yeah. wouldn't cop them, but I would cop them for you and you would actually wear these? Yeah, I would wear okay, them. Okay, <laughs> okay. That's that's a good note. That's a good thing to know right there. Okay. Uh, so you know I love sixes. Okay. This shoe is so slept on. The materials are fire. Let me know what you think about these. I got the cool gray sixes. Great pickup in my opinion. I don't know. I always like these bottoms. Like I always think that, these just look icy. That, like, it is that icy bottom. That's yeah, what it is. It's cool. Um, you know the materials are cool. Mm -hmm. The grays are different. There are different grays throughout the entire There's shoe. Like four different, five different grays on there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like a pewter. This is more like lighter. Mm -hmm. Um, I think they're cool. Initially, when you're pulling them out the box, I was like. 
I think they're cool though. <laughs> okay. I don't really like sixes that much for me. Yeah. Okay. Personally, I don't, I don't like the way they look on my feet. Yeah, I can see that. But, and, then, and then like the kids' pairs are shaped differently and everything too. Uh, like they don't look as good in the bubble on the ankle. There's a, yeah, there's a difference between like the adult. Yeah, it's a difference. It's a yeah, difference. yeah, but I can see. I like imagined you wearing this. This is a summer shoe. Okay, so a, a summer. What would shoe. you rate these out of ten? For you, or for me? How you feel about it? I mean, oh, just you, in I got it because I like it. You, I mean, I would give it a hard. 7.8. 7.8? Honestly, that's higher than I thought. Yeah. I was thinking like low 6.9. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> we got the Jordan 13 black. 13. Yes, yeah, the Jordan 13. Size 13. Oh, black boy. Flakes. You're not feeling these. <laughs> what? They just remind me of your dad. Every time I see these shoes, it's like, it doesn't matter what colorway it is. It's like, I just imagine, I don't know. I guess I've seen you in these two, but I don't know. They're, they're, I would never wear these. Okay. They're a boat. They're a boat. Oh my gosh. It's really like a panther. Mm -hmm. You see the panther's paw on the bottom and then the eye of the panther. Wait, explain that again. You see the paw, like a paw print? On the bottom of the shoe, like oh, a panther's okay. paw. Yeah. And then the eye of the panther. Interesting. Is that what they're going for? Because they called him the black cat. Uh, who? So the shoe, Jordan. Really? So the shoe I've was. I've never the, heard that before. The shoe was. That's why the black cat fours. Oh, okay. I didn't know that's why yeah. they were called that. So it comes like there's a lot of different meanings behind it, but when they designed the shoe, they molded it like that and they built the outsoles. So that it's kind of like resembling that. Each shoe has a story when it comes to the design of the shoe. They're right, all related to like a different like, like element of thing, his life. Yeah, or... So yeah, like the 14s like around his car, like his Ferrari. Uh, That's why it's got like the tire on the back end with the little tail lights and everything. Okay. People don't notice all the design aspects, but that's kind of where this came from. And then, yeah. So. I still would never wear it, but I think it's, it's cool for you. Nice. <laughs> okay. This one. Ah. <sighs> I don't know if you're gonna like this one. Let's just, uh, you wanna pull out some heat? Uh, just open it. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I like these. Okay. okay. I mean, you and, clearly do, you bought them. And this used to be like a shoe that was worth thousands of dollars. Okay. They retro it. What, what year? It was a sample. This was like 2006 or something like that. 2000, it was a long time ago. So this shoe, they look old. They have like the design looks old. Okay. You know, like because this is the LeBron two, the number two model. I don't hate the shoe though. Like okay, I dope. think the shoe's cool. So this shoe was speaking of that, I did get the Olympics as well. I don't know if I posted about those or not, but I picked up the Olympic twos as well. But so this shoe is the Maccabee two. And they used to Maccabee? be Maccabee? They used to be like super rare. It was a sample, right? Mm -hmm. Super expensive. And then they came out to the public finally. So all the old like LeBron collectors and Nike basketball people that's like been in the game for a long time, we're all like, hell yeah, we're about to get the shoe finally. Yeah. And then it comes out and it's just like sitting. Like Dang. nobody cares about it anymore. And everybody that was in this era is like, yo, I just came up, I got these for the love. Like nobody cares about these. So for me, like spinning, I don't know. I think I got them for like hundred bucks or something. Like either way, great deal, great yeah. shoe great memories from collecting back in the day to now would you wear this shoe today though or is yes. this like oh you would okay yes i think pulling these and pulling the olympic twos now Which and current the navy the white navy one it's oh, the same okay. shoe but yeah, different yeah. color yeah so pulling these shoes now now this is i'm rocking with a sweatsuit you know what i'm saying big chilling pull up like i'm in there i'm excited to see how you style uh -oh. it oh is this a summertime shoe i don't know I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Some shorts I mean, it's or light. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, so what do you rate these out of 10? <laughs> uh, seven. What did it say? Bombastic side eye. <laughs> did you just give me the bombastic side eye? A little bit. Just a little bit? Okay. Should we show? What do we got over here? We got some more boxes. What's that right there? This? Oh, you want to show that one? No, show that one. This. Yeah. Okay. So a little, now this is like a little summertime beater. Black, oh, okay. different materials. 
I was interested to see how it looked in person too from looking at it online. It's got like that unique kind of texture to it. Yeah, it's got like lines on it like like a like a cat. Mm -hmm. You know? So I thought I was like, you know, if if I don't like it, then I'll just get rid of it. If I like it, and then it I seems rock like it. Res like resistant to like right you know like like the, the materials is good stuff. for yeah. beating them up yeah so for me i was like black asphalt black asphalt all black other upper those different i can't talk but either way <laughs> like i was like oh this might be a solid option so i grab them yeah they're cool now i would, I would wear these those you know what i'm saying i like, would wear these it's a cool little all black shoe to little throw around like I look think it's cool. i i don't have any black sh well i have i have the fours right they're fours you got the what black cat fours are they fours? oh you got the black cat threes threes okay so those are the only black shoe that that's I can, all black yeah that yeah, i have you got the black cat threes yeah. yeah so i feel like this would be like a good alternative and this is this is like a style i would like mm -hmm. so I, this is like my vibe so what would you, you know? rate those 8.5 at eight. You just rated eight. these higher than like Never all mind. Never shoes. mind. At, at eight. I'm just saying for me, like I would I wear them. I get it. I would Damn. wear them. I would wear them. All right. Okay. Okay. You know, I ain't mad at you. Do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> all right. What's the next one over there? Um, oh wait, no. That one. Wait. What is that? Oh yeah, yeah. Grab that one. Okay. I got some of these shoes I already got and showed y'all. Just ain't. Dude, it's being them away. so good back there. <laughs> for real. Um, oh wait. Hold on. Pull it out. Okay. It was out of focus for a second. Oh, yeah. Who are these? <laughs> you don't like these? I'm going to mess it up. So are these a hooping shoe? It's a LeBron 7. Okay. It's a basketball shoe for sure. Okay. That makes sense. It, like To me, one of the dopest. I don't know if it's the best, but definitely one of the dopest LeBron models ever made in my opinion colorway can definitely determine like the look of the shoe but this one is like a college pe but it released to the public mm. so you know i don't hate it i don't hate it do i love it no but do i hate it there's no. an all green suede version too oh i think i would like those i more. want those ones but, bad but i just got these because this is the only one that was just yeah i had to grab them again the the green on here that's like the vibe like mm -hmm. that's such a good green it's on the bottom too um yeah i saw that the stripe um i'm confused as to why they would make it this material for basketball right but i, I think th if it's like a stepping out shoe i then, think it's yeah. like yeah so this was the time where like the lebron nine and the eight was the time of like even the seven a little bit this is the seven mm -hmm. that was kind of the era of like shoe basketball shoes becoming lifestyle sneakers at the same time, uh, okay, like performance basketball sense. shoes. Cause so, I'm like, why would they, they're gonna get jacked up so yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think they made this in purpose of like, wearing this out in the streets yeah. more than actually hooping in the shoe. Yeah. And this being like a literally a college PE that came out to the public. Like to me, I was like, yo, I gotta grab these because if these were not released to the public, next thing you know, it's like a $2,000 shoe. So yeah, I'm not grabbing it just because of that reason. I actually like support LeBron. I think it's a I think it's dope colorway. I want to get the set. I want to get the green pair too. But you know, you gotta start with one. So I grab the black pair first. Yeah, I mean these are cool. I would give them a solid six point eight. Six point eight. I think that's a okay. good rating. Okay, that's a good I'll give you that. Rating. Oh, you seen this before? I have. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen those before. Again, I saw these at Untied. Shout out to Untied. Yeah. Shout out to Untied. Link down below. I'll make sure I list the website down below. I will wear these all day for sure. Those are fire. Yeah, these Those these are, are, are really nice. Great blue. Um, it reminds me, the blue reminds me of what is that shoe? The MCA Air Force One, the off white. Yeah, the that's why they're ones. literally like the same color. The yeah, same shoe. Yeah. So for me it was the same thing. I was like, well, I don't got the MCAs, I got the other ones, like the green and the yellows. But I'm like, these will do for now. You some good rockers. You got the green ones. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, I like these ones a lot. What are these retail for? Uh, I think it was like 125 or something like that. That's not bad. That's not bad at it's all. It's like a premium drop, so it's a little bit more than the re the normal retail. Yeah. But it's an anniversary edition. It's got the gold stitch on Comes the tongue. Comes with the toothbrush, right? Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. Got the toothbrush in here. 
Yep, you got the little hang tag. All the information right here. Yeah. So I what like do you rate these? these? I give them a nine. Nine? A this nine. is the best one out of everything so far. Yeah, I like those. That's crazy. And that's what I love about sneakers too. Like, there's dope shoes. And it doesn't have to be crazy expensive. No. It doesn't have to be rare, limited, da da da. Like, these are available. And that's why you always say, buy what you like. Buy what you like, always. Buy what you like. Not everything has to be hype beast, most grilled out, best, whatever. All right. What else we got? Oh, grab those ones. Yeah, grab those ones down there. These ones? Yeah. Uh. We got like four more shoes, guys. Okay, maybe like five or six. <laughs> or eight. <laughs> or nine. Okay. Again, with the green, I really do think that I Damn, I'm, I got a lot of green shoes. I think I'm really rubbing off on you, honestly. No, 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 no. I like these a lot. I still am like not, I think if these were on a, in a low top version, I would I would for sure rock these all the if time. If they made those in a low? It would be, yeah. The low OG? Yeah. Those would be hard. Yeah. But they're coming out with some, uh, what's it called, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming out with some other low tops with some fire colorways of black toes and different stuff like those dunks they're making a low top colorway just like that okay and a jordan one yeah i think these if these were a low top i would definitely wear them um i just don't love high top shoes in general mm -hmm. um but i think for a high top i'm gonna give this a 8.8 okay I, i'm not mad at that all right yeah. We got some samples and PEs too, so uh, stick around to the end. I'll be showing you guys that stuff. But next up right here, it's already out. Um, I unboxed it because I was just making oh a video. Oh boy, here we go. Ah. All right. Shout out to Soul Steals. Hey, I got Soul Steals linked down below in the description as well. I'm telling you right now, get their membership. This is how you come up on bangers, bro, for the low. I saw these on the site. I had to scoop them. <laughs> Immediate cop. What do you think about these? I think they're a black shoe. And I think if you're gonna pay X amount of dollars for a black shoe, um, you better just like be keeping it for, uh, you know, collected collecting purpose or like uh, building building up like you know. <laughs> I I just like I don't think it's worth okay. spending a lot of money on. So the black dunks that you just saw. Yes. And these right here. Which one do you like? Like, are these way better than them? Are they equal? No, are they a they're little not bit better? better? Are the other ones better? I mean, the materials on this is, is like completely different, right? Yeah. But, and I, you know, like the little hits, little details on there are cool. Do I, how much is this? How much is it? On their website, they had them for like 425. Oh, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. So it's going to go up though. Yeah. Literally got a deal on these. And yeah. I was like, I had to go. That's why I told people. And I think they still have pairs available. So if you guys are watching this video, literally go click right now. Link down below in the description. Soul Steals. They have deals on there, bro. And they just re they just restocked the reverse mochas. And I think they're getting the olive one, the low top olives uh, soon. So I like if they the do, olives more than I like these. Yeah, we got to get those still. Um, we was out of town when they came out. So we was kind of busy. But we'll get them. It'll be I right. think. I think if this wasn't a shoe that it wasn't a Travis Scott shoe, I think that it would just be whatever. But I think it would still be, to me, it reminds me of like, like you think a Year of the Rabbit, Zion, like those specialty kind of ones that's like different than just like your normal like leather or whatever. Yeah. I think it would fall in that category. And then yeah, pricing would be a little bit lower, maybe 250, 300 compared to like 450, 500, 600. And then- What do you think these are gonna like shoot up to though? I don't know. Everybody's hating on them now. You know how that goes. Well, not hating on them because they're still reselling. But I think that these could be, you know, at least seven to nine hundred dollars. Do you think this is his best shoe? That one in particular? No. Yeah. No. See, and that's where I'm at. The I'm Travis like... Scott Four is still the best one. I think out of all the Travis Scott releases, the the blue, re uh, yeah. the GR version. Like, I think that's still that one or the olive. Sixes. I like the olives. Those six is like the ones over there. That I got in the case? Yeah, I like I like, I like those. rocking those too. Okay, so overall, solid cop. Yeah? Yeah, I think for collecting purposes, yeah. No, I'm rocking those, for sure. Oh, okay. I think it's a black shoe. Okay. Well, this is a white shoe. <laughs> ah, 
Okay, so these, we kind of talked about this before. They remind us of the neutral gray. Jordan 1 Low. Yes, and that's my favorite shoe in the I like the it world. a lot too. I wear that shoe more than any other shoe that I own. Right. So I think, yeah, this is a for sure for me. It's an everydayer. I'm giving it a solid nine point. Oh my God. Five. <laughs> 9.5. This is the best shoe out of everything? Yeah, well, for me, personally. Shady, crazy. Personally. Okay. You asked okay. me if, if I would be wearing No, you shoes. would, you would, if they had them in your size, I would have already got them for you. Which They're I'm not sure if they do. They're though. I didn't check, honestly, so I take that back. They're puffier. They're not as good as the one lows. No. No. But, but they're like, it's a you good see what I'm saying? They're like wide here. Yeah. Good but shoe. yeah, it's a solid shoe. Summertime. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Summertime. I got a couple fall pairs. Summertime, wintertime. Not for you every day. <laughs> but I got a couple pairs of neutral gray one lows. You yeah. know, I got I got multiples of that shoe, but I was like, oh, they got these. This is similar. I could wear those instead and then mix it in, you know, mm -hmm. and try to preserve those ones. Cause that's a shoe that I definitely want to have a clean, crispy pair, you know, five to seven years down the line from now. So definitely a great option, a uh, great addition to the collection. Next up, bro, oh, you thanks, are just Steven. waiting. To, he gave you, me a kiss. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> All right, you gotta go. Next up right here, you saw this box before. I know what these are. You gave me these before. Yeah, wait, what? open. Ah. So the undefeated Air Force One. Yep. You gave me the other pair, the brown pair. Yeah. So what do you think about these? I think the other ones are better. I think the other ones are better too. Yeah. But I was like, man, I kind of wanted to complete the set and I do like these. Wait, what is the swish vibe. Um, like on the other one? Same way. Same way, it's translucent? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's dope. It's a dope shoe. Yeah. But people are sleeping on them. I get it, it's not for everybody. It's definitely this, not for everybody. For me, Ooh. screams early 2000s. Like Ooh. that vibe and the era, the nostalgia behind it. Like for me, super excited about this shoe. So there's a lot I of different cool. meanings behind this shoe too. I think it's cool. I, I give it, I give it, I give it a 7.7. 7. 7.7? 7. Yeah. Okay. 7. Okay. 7. One more shoe. I think that's it. We're going to wrap it up after that. All right. So. Let's see what we got. Y'all know. I got the oh Michigan. Oh boy. I got the Michigan sixes. Oh, sorry, Damon. Sorry, 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 sorry. What, are you running I around? Know. Okay. So I got the Michigan sixes a while ago. I don't yeah. know. It's been a while since I got those a long time ago. Yeah. Um, and then they saw the video, got the, <laughs> you <laughs> influenced me into getting the Gator stuff, the ones, the sixes and the fives. It was um, a good cop. But I came up on another deal and I just had to double up. Wait, <laughs> I'm like, isn't that the same shoe? So yeah. Okay. I got, show up the shoes. You got it. <laughs> that way they can see. Hello. <laughs> uh, both size 13. I had to cop and wait. So does that mean you're gonna wear a pair? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's what it means. Or uh, either way, I'm gonna wear them. But I think or I could potentially trade them. Okay. So maybe it might be like a cool trade video or something. Yeah. But yeah, I ended up grabbing another pair of Michigan Sixes. Probably just gonna sit on these for a while. Cool little deal. Couldn't pass it up. It's like one of those situations where it's like you got the deal, you can't pass it up. So, you know what I'm saying? Like you just yeah. gotta get it. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, great pickup, great addition to the collection. Out of all these shoes, we had some good stuff throughout the past couple weeks that I picked up. I'm excited to keep copping shoes for ever and ever and ever. Um, yeah, was there anything that stood out for you? I know it was those, these two. Yeah, I, I like- I feel like these two stood out the most for these, you. These are like my vibe. I feel so. like for me, it was like this. This. I like those a lot too, though. Like these are really cool. Yeah, the only ones in the box, but those those four horsemen LeBrons, like the white and green ones, the Air Force yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are fun. What, what's your signature thing again? It's like I'm out of here. I gotta go. Peace. I used to do that a long time ago. <laughs> that was the OG. All the OGs know. I got to go. I'm gone. I'm gonna say Peace. That. I got to go. I'm gone.
Peace. <laughs> I would never let you down. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video and you want to be a part of the Sneakerhead Academy, hit the link down below in the description or pinned in the comment section. Sign up and get joined in. We have so many monthly meetings, events, and things that go on. We have a full eight-week crash course that teaches you everything about the shoe game. And I'll give you guys all my inside tips and tricks and network when it comes to real estate, sneakers, investing, and overall just taking your life to the next level. Any way that I can help, I want to help you on the inside. So sign up. I'll see you guys in there. And trust me you guys are gonna have a great time i'm looking forward to seeing you there that's in my dna hey, the hey, only choice i like to make what i'm aware it's today one one i would one never one. let you down that's in my dna the only choice i like to make what i'm aware today i was made for it it's in the dna